Hi, I'm Megan and welcome to my kitchen. Today's video is part of an open collab called Cookies for Santa, hosted by Valerie over at the Hargett Life. I'll have Valerie's channel linked in my description box below, as well as the collab playlist. So as soon as you're done watching my video, make sure that you head on over to the playlist. There will be several super sweet ladies that will have really yummy cookie recipes for Santa for you. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you four ideas for cookies or treats for Santa Claus. This would be super fun to do with your kiddos. These recipes are so easy. They're budget friendly and best of all, they're tasty. These would also be great to make for your family, for a game night or on Christmas Eve to kind of snack on. They'd also be great to make for like teachers, neighbors, that sort of thing. So let's get into these recipes. Like I said, super easy and they are delicious. First up, we're making Rudolph noses. These are so, so easy and they're super cute. You'll need pretzels. Now I'm using pretzel twists. You can also use the little round pretzels if you can find them. You'll need some red M&Ms and then Rolos. If you don't wanna use Rolos or you don't have them, you could also make this with Hershey Kisses. I've lined a cookie sheet with a piece of parchment paper and I've got my oven preheating. You'll wanna set your oven to as low as it will go. Usually that's about 200 degrees. I'm going to lay my pretzels out on the cookie sheet in a single layer. And then I'm adding a Rolo to each pretzel. You'll wanna make sure, of course, that you unwrap the Rolos. And like I said, this is perfect for the kiddos to help with. It can help you unwrap the Rolos, lay the pretzels out and add the Rolos to the pretzel. You're going to place this into the preheated oven and you just cook this for about four to five minutes. You're going to carefully remove it from the oven and take a little red M&M and press it into the center and you wanna push down a little bit and that's it. Like I said, these are so, so easy and they're cute. I know Santa will love them. You'll want to store any leftovers in an airtight container and like I said, once they cool completely, the chocolate hardens back up. So yummy little treat for Santa. Next up, I'm going to make Nutter Butter Snowmen. We've made these in my family for years. They're so easy, super cute, like I said, and best of all, your kiddos can totally help you make these as well. So you'll need Nutter Butter cookies, some vanilla almond bark, and then you're going to need something to use for their eyes and buttons and nose. You could use mini chocolate chips, sprinkles, uh, like writing icing for their noses. You could do um, an orange uh, M&M, you could do, an orange tic tac whatever you have on hand or whatever you can find is totally fine i happen to find this little packet at walmart in the christmas baking section it has little candy black balls for their eyes and their buttons and then look at these they're so cute and they're so teeny tiny little candy carrots for the noses so that's what i'm going to use but like i said just use whatever you can find or whatever you have on hand all right let me show you how to make these in this bowl, which you want to make sure you're using a microwave safe bowl, I'm going to add a couple squares of the almond bark and then place it into the microwave. I cooked it for 30 seconds and you just want to do this according to your package instructions. After 30 seconds, I removed it and gave it a stir. And as you can see here, it was not fully melted. So I popped it back into the microwave for another 20 or 30 seconds. Now you probably want to have an adult or an older teenager help with this part because the bowl can get just a little bit warm. Next, we're going to take our Nutter Butter cookies and dip them on both sides in the almond bark. I like to tap off the excess with a fork, and then you can lay these out onto a parchment lined cookie sheet or just lay down some parchment paper or wax paper on your counter. I just laid this one on this paper plate to show you. Then we're just going to add our eyes, our carrot nose, and then the buttons. And for the smile, I had some red writing icing on hand that I found, so I just made little smiles using that. And you'll want to allow these to cool the chocolate or the almond bark rather will set up and that's it if there are leftovers store them in an airtight container and these are so cute i think santa will love seeing these they will probably remind him of his buddy frosty the snowman 
Next up, we're making Reese's cookie cups. I know I keep saying this, but this is so, so easy. Your kiddos can totally help you with this. In fact, as long as you're telling them what to do and you're handling the oven, they can pretty much do this themselves. You'll need some Reese's miniature peanut butter cups. You'll wanna take these out of the wrappers and then you'll need some peanut butter cookie dough. You can of course use your own homemade cookie dough if you would like. You can use the mixes where you like add the powdered mix to uh, oil or eggs or water. Um, I I've started using refrigerated peanut butter cookie dough though over the past few years. It's so easy and convenient. Um, so if you can find this Pillsbury brand in particular, this is the perfect size for this recipe. You don't have to cut the cookie dough balls or anything. So I've got the oven preheating to 350 degrees. I'm going to spray these little mini uh, muffin tins with some cooking spray. I'm going to take one of the cookie dough little balls and place it into each cup and then place this into the preheated oven and this baked for about 10 to 14 minutes or until the cookies are done. You'll wanna carefully remove them from the oven and while they're still warm, you'll wanna take one of the Reese's peanut butter cups, put it into the center and you wanna press down just a little bit and then that's it, these are done. You'll wanna let them cool completely. The chocolate in the Reese's peanut butter cup will harden back up and that's it. Uh, like the other ones, I know Santa will love these. These are so yummy. And if you have any leftovers, once again, store them in an airtight container. Finally, I'm going to make some Christmas bark. Now, Santa gets a lot of cookies on Christmas Eve. Not that it's a bad thing. I know he loves them, but it's kind of nice to have a little bit of a change, switch it up a little bit. So in today's video, that's why I tried to show you one specific cookie recipe and then a couple other little treats for Santa, just to mix it up. So this bark is really, really easy. It's delicious, and it's something that he can just hold in his hand while he's putting your presents under the Christmas tree or, you know, handling the reins for the reindeer. All you'll do is take some of the almond bark. I made some with the chocolate bark and some with the vanilla. You'll microwave it according to the instructions on the package. While it's in the microwave, I lined my cookie sheet with a piece of parchment paper, and then I poured out the almond bark onto the parchment. You'll wanna spread that out. Now, I did it a little bit thin here. You wanna go just a little bit thicker, but you wanna spread that out, and while it's still warm, you want to add whatever toppings. You can go crazy here with the toppings. Use whatever candies, cookies, nuts. You could use dried fruits. Uh, again, whatever you have on hand, whatever you think would be yummy, whatever you think Santa would like, add it here. I'm just using what I have on hand and a couple things to use up. So I added some Christmas shaped pretzels, peanuts, some little mini M&Ms that were Christmas colored. And then I added some Christmas sprinkles and that was the chocolate. Let me show you how I did the vanilla. I've microwaved the vanilla almond bark and again I'm pouring it out onto my parchment paper lined cookie sheet and just like with the chocolate use whatever toppings you've got on hand or whatever you think Santa would like. I'm going to add some crushed up candy canes, some of the M&Ms, then some of the same sprinkles, the pretzels and the peanuts and that's it. You'll want to allow this to sit out. You can also pop this into the refrigerator if you want it to harden up a little bit faster but just a couple hours out at room temperature and it shouldn't harden up for you. Then then you'll break it into pieces and that's it. It's ready for Santa. Like with the other treats, if you have any leftovers, make sure that you store them in an airtight container. This is delicious. I love the salty, sweet, chocolate combination. So, so yummy. I know that Santa will love any of these treats that I've shared with you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoy making these super yummy and easy treats. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.